All right, wish me luck. Hello there. All right, so this is my successful run of the Bell Tower Gargoyle boss encounter. This took me about seven or eight tries to get the fight mechanics down. During this fight, you'll want to get around the first gargoyle and attack its tail. When you cut it off, you are awarded with the gargoyle tail axe weapon. There are a few different vertical and horizontal attacks you need to dodge. The vertical ones, you'll need a side run or side dodge. The horizontal attacks, I think you can dodge into. They're kind of wonky. The flying attacks, you'll want to get a bit of distance and dodge to the sides. Just be careful not to fall off the building. During the beginning of this fight, I took some rough hits and needed to heal. You see me jockeying around, trying to get the gargoyle to land one of the easier to dodge attacks so I can get close and get some hits in. I now notice that I was using my weapon single-handed, which is something I've since then remembered to pay attention to. So I probably could have been doing more damage per hit during this encounter. Around 50% of on the first gargoyle, the second one shows up and they gain the ability to breathe fire. This fire attack is probably the most exploitable of the moveset. It's very obvious when they start this animation and given a favorable battle state, right, you should be able to run back. past them and get a couple of attacks in. How much far do, do I have over here? Okay. Maybe I can utilize the area over here? I don't know. I don't know, fam. Run by it. No, no, attack. Near the end of this fight, I oh, use the narrow walkway the next to the tower for cover. Right, As they initiate the fire attack, I run forward and jump past the right, AoE and get Here, in a good least, attack. A good it's thing. possibly not a great idea to use the walkway, so your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching, yes. good luck, and happy slaying.